Wherever you live, it's very easy to overlook your local environment. And where I live in the rural Essex-Suffolk borders, there is a wealth of beauty in the surrounding countryside that is incredibly uplifting and inspiring. That same sense of beauty has also inspired artists over the centuries, some more famous than others. Just down the road from where I live is the quiet market town of Sudbury, birthplace of one of the world's most famous artists, Thomas Gainsborough. The statue at the top of Market Hill in Sudbury is testament to the importance of Thomas Gainsborough as a world-renowned artist as he gazes down to the now renamed Gainsborough Street to his childhood home, which is now open to the public as an art gallery and museum. Gainsborough was born in 1727 and spent his childhood living here. The beautiful garden of the house, which would have been much larger when he was growing up, must have inspired him in his love of nature and consequently his passion for landscape painting. This very old mulberry bush would have been here in Gainsborough's time. And the Sudbury water meadows, a stone's throw away from the family home, would have been his playground and perhaps it is this environment that really ignited his passion for art. In 1740, Thomas's father John, who was a weaver and maker of woolen goods, had started to recognise his son's artistic talents and sent him to London to study art. He was only 13. By the time he returned to Sudbury in 1748, he had married Margaret Burr, the illegitimate daughter of the Duke of Beaufort. Gainsborough's passion was really landscape paintings, but unfortunately the wealthy clientele preferred portraits and flattering portraits making the subjects look very important and impressive. Having returned to Sudbury, Gainsborough had to move to where the rich entitled people lived, which took him to Bath in 1759. It was here that the better paying high society clientele lived, and it was here that he soon gained national recognition and reputation and he became one of the founding members of the Royal Academy in 1769. In 1774 he moved to London and in 1780 he painted the portraits of King George III and Queen Charlotte, which put him in the premier division of British artists at the time. Gainsborough remained the royal family's favourite artist and was even buried in the Royal Church of St Anne's at Kew. He died of cancer on the 2nd of August 1788 at the age of 61. Thomas Gainsborough will always be remembered for breaking the mould in portraiture, making his subjects look very at ease and capturing that natural look. He will also be remembered of course for his beautiful dramatic landscapes. <laughs>